Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. I said, before you accuse me now, take a look at yourself. You say I'm spending my money on other women. You're spending your money on someone else. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. All right, what a great, great, great jam. This is based on the Clapton version, all right? So we're gonna be doing the key of E. So you're gonna need to know an E chord. So it might be a little tricky for the beginners out there, but it's a rewarding song. I also made it a cool little intro, a custom intro just for this song. Um, Clapton plays it a little different, but I made it a more ukulele friendly version. So you have a cool intro and the 12 bar blues as well. Plus we're gonna touch on some concepts of mixing major and minor. And if you really want a full in-depth blues phrasing video, leave a comment below and I'll go into a lot more detail with another video okay all right 10 thumbspro.com new songs every wednesday new songs every saturday skype lessons we've already done a ton of clap then all right go to 10 thumbspro.com click songs all the songs listed by artist we got all kinds of cool stuff but if you came just for this lesson that's cool i dig it and i respect it i want you to grab your ukulele brain attention span and follow me on in before you accuse me of taking too much time all right let's break it down all right before you accuse me of never teaching anyone the blues maybe you should take a look at yourself no, it's just a little joke. We've done a lot of clapping before. You guys know I really dig the blues. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be breaking down Before You Accuse Me by Eric Clapton, all right? Now, I'm going to be breaking down how to strum through it, and then I'm going to show you a kind of ukulele intro. it off that's a little different than his guitar intro but it still kind of serves the same purpose we're gonna do that actually at the end and also I'm gonna show you some points and some nuances of how to solo or where you can do some different things and if I get enough thumbs up likes or comments saying that you want a full video I'm gonna go ahead and break down mixing major and minor skills with better blue phrasing if that's something you're interested in leave a comment below once I have five comments or one comment with five thumbs up I'll do that video okay so you're gonna need an E chord I like this particular E shape for this song. Pointer finger first fret, pinky fourth fret, C string, E open, middle finger second fret, A string. Because that open E makes it really feel like it has a bass tone. You're going to need an A major, A, A7, and a B B7. Now this is a 12 bar blues, but they also call it a quick turnaround blues because your first four bars are going to be one of E, one of A major, and two more of E. And the strum pattern is just going to be a loose down, down, up, up, down. If you wanted to add some mutes in there, you could, alright? But I'm just going to be doing down, down, up, up, down. Just a loose shuffle blues rhythm. And the first four bars, E, So that is, before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. The next four is going to be two of A7, and then two of E, all right? Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. The turnaround, B7. is actually going to come on the second beat. So what I do is I do an E, a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up on the B7. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, mute, up, up, mute, up, up, and then I start over. All right, so that turnaround. like this. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. I said, before you accuse me now, take a look at yourself. You say, 
I'm spending my money on other women. You're spending your money on someone else. Right. And then it just starts over and over and over again. And that's the 12 bar loop. And it just happens over and over and over and over and over again. So those are the three pieces. When you do 12 bars, the best is to break them down one through four, five through eight, nine through 12. That's always worked really well for me, okay? Also, when you're singing that one, your key words, Bef before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. You want self to happen on the third bar. So you're not going before you accuse me, take. Take doesn't happen right away on the A. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. All right, so it's not necessarily where you start, but more where you finish when you sing this song. Okay, for the intro, E7. I'm doing a triplet strum. Here's a link if you need a little practice with that. Triplet strum and then a down. And I do that two times. I do it two times on the E7, and then I move it down a half step and do it once, and another half step and do it once. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Just like our turnaround in the actual song, all right? So. For example, E major to the E minor. To the E major. To the E minor. Alright, and that's a really quick, brief view of that. If you want to see that with some jam tracks, let me know. Leave some comments below and we'll break down in-depth mixing major and minor. Specifically, the mi minor third and major third is really how you can improve your blues phrasing from okay to some really, 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 really nice quality blues phrasing. All right, 10thumbspro.com, Eric Clapton, Before You Accuse Me. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, until next time, take care. 10 thumbs up, I helped you. Ciao. 10thumbspro.com, before you accuse me, take a look at yourself, all right? Breaking it down on the ukulele, had a lot of fun with it, okay? I hope you dug it, 10thumbspro.com. Keep watching, keep learning, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep on rocking, keep on rolling, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. All right, take care, everybody, bye.